Hello there, this is Dana Arcuri, author, speaker, and wellness coach on this gorgeous day. And you can see behind me there's some trees, some green here, I'll show you a little. It's just, yeah, there's a gate, nothing real pretty here. But there's trees, and I just want you to get a good glimpse. Anyways, from my bedroom window, I could get a really nice glimpse of these trees. And every morning I see birds coming and going. And about seven months ago when my lab, Samson, passed away, I had a little prayer and I asked God to show me something tangible that would reveal himself to me in my midst of tears and grief and sorrow. And there was this beautiful red cardinal that appeared on this branch right outside my bedroom window and I was kind of blown away that God answered my prayer and God spoke and he used something so symbolic as a red cardinal. Red is the symbolism of the blood of Christ and it's also a double portion of God's love for us. And so nevertheless, for the past seven months, God's been just showing me every now and then just a little sneak peek, red cardinals coming here and there and just appearing out of nowhere. And on some days I yearn to just have a glimpse of God. And sometimes if it means seeing a red cardinal, that can really bring comfort to me. And so anyways, um, I'm going through a transition in life. It's been going on for over a year now and I could feel these growing pains. And I sense God is just asking me to step out and try something new and go a new path and do something bold. And it's scary because it's it's, it's brand new and it's venturing in an unknown territory. And so today I said a little prayer as I was washing my dishes and I'm praying, you know, hey God, I really need to see a red kernel today. I really need to see today something extremely tangible and you know how I feel about these red cardinals. So today, make it happen. I really wanna see this. I'm going to expect this today. And, and so in the meanwhile, I'm listening to a YouTube video that was a woman who was talking about when you have a prayer, expect God to answer, expect to hear from him. Don't just say, you know, I don't know if I will, but really anticipate it. And so I was anticipating it, but of course I'm in the middle of laundry and dishes and chores and day-to-day -day routine. And nevertheless, um, after coming upstairs from doing some laundry, I walk past my kitchen window and I see something bright. So I draw in a little closer to get a better glimpse and wow, it was the most brilliant, brightest, largest, most gorgeous red cardinal I have ever seen ever, ever in my lifetime. And it was really interesting because it was right out here where I'm standing right now where you could see and this cardinal was on a branch and it it was kind of cleaning itself having its little afternoon wash and then the cardinal started to climb up the next branch a little higher and then gradually climbed the next branch a little higher and then the next branch a little higher and then from there the cardinal started to fly away and had its wings and soared and it made me see a demonstration of what God might be saying to me, what he might be revealing to me, that yes, it's scary, yes, it's really scary. And it could be that trying something new and being bold and being brave and trusting, just standing in faith when you don't know what will happen or if it's gonna work out, that God is still good, he is still sovereign, he is still able, even when we're not able, he is still able and so it made me think about how you know God's saying you know just climb up that one more branch just like that bird you know climb up that one more branch and keep climbing keep soaring because I have wings for you and I want you to fly and so today if there's something you want to do and something you're praying about and something that you're really scared or intimidated this is just a little confirmation for you to go out there and do it so my message is this do it anyways in the face of fear do it because life is short because now as I watch my mother who's in stage three brain cancer and her numbers in life are so short I now know that I can't wait till tomorrow I can't wait till next year I have to do what I feel led to do now because we have to seize the moment and so today you do the same thing you seize the moment you go after what you want you have a passion you know you do you have a purpose 
And so even in the face of fear, do it anyways. And if you'd like to connect with me on social media, go over to DanaOrCurie.com. Thank you and have a blessed day.